Yeah. You remember this film? The one that came out in 2014 and it was about Legos? Well, now you have Will Arnett as Batman and we have the Lego Batman movie. So, let's talk about it. So you guys, the Lego Batman movie is the next film in the Lego Universe um, films, and I what what can I say about this film? Well, it is a family anim animated film that can t that is a spinoff of the Lego movie, and well, guys, I was kind of disappointed with this film, and I didn't want to start off throwing hate towards the film because I laughed throughout the whole thing. Don't get me wrong. I just had a lot more problems with it than I thought I was. And I kind of went in there with higher expectations. And I feel like that ruined the experience for me because I loved the first Lego movie. I have it on Blu-ray. I've seen it over 10 times. I absolutely love that film. I, I There's nothing wrong with it to me, uh, just besides the fact that there are too many jokes. Um, but that's really it for me. Besides that, I love the Lego movie. I was super psyched to see that Will Arnett was going to be playing as Batman from the Lego Batman movie, also alongside Michael Sarah and a few other huge stars, such as Rosario Dawson, who I absolutely love. Excuse me, guys. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, but she's in all the Marvel shows that are on Netflix, uh, and I think is going to be in the movie Unforgettable, which is coming out later this year. I'll forget that she uh, was in that, or, or that is in that, um, and I will let that slide, uh, because she's such a great actress, and I love her work, and it was really cool to see her play as Barbara in the, in the film, who Will Arnett kind of, you know, like, falls in love with throughout the movie, and so I want to talk about his character, some of the things that go on in this film without giving anything away, uh, and the reasons why I, I maybe didn't like it as, as much as I thought I would, um, but yeah, we're just gonna talk about that, let's get into it. So, like I said, you guys, Will Arnett plays as uh, Batman in this film, and he is phenomenal. Ever since BoJack Horseman, I have really been liking his work. I know he was in the, the new TMNT series, uh, and that franchise isn't doing so hot. He's... Those movies aren't that good, but I love him in that as well, teaming up with Megan Fox to kick ass, and then also he's in The Nut Job, uh, they're making The Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature, which I will be seeing, uh, and again, I think that's mainly because... Uh, of Will Arnett, and Will, and the reason why I'm talking about all these films that he has been in is because he's in a lot of animated things, and uh, or things that are animated, and he's a part of. Um, I just think he's so good at that type of stuff. He's also in a series of uh, unfortunate events on Netflix, the show, and uh, that was surprising to see, along with uh, Kobe Smulders. Uh, side fact, sorry, I got distracted there, but again, I just want to say everything he does, I really like. He does a good job of uh, being an animated character and really being involved in that in that character's life and um that's why i think the role of batman was so good it was so cocky um it was so um it was so funny and it was just all about him and i feel like only will arnett can pull that off um and i think he did a great job so you guys the film starts off with um one of the greatest opening credits you will see in a really long time, and again, it does something like that at the end, where it has a really cool end credits. I'm not going to tell you anything that goes on in this movie, because again, this is a spoiler-free review, like we always do on here on this channel, because uh, I don't want to be a dick telling you guys what happens in the Lego Batman movie, and literally, there is a character named Dick, so thank you, uh, PG rating humor. So yeah, Dick, guys, though, he plays as Batman's uh, son in the movie, who he eventually um, adopts and has to take care of, and I, I know what you're thinking, oh, you just told me something about the movie, but no, like, they show this in the trailer, you guys are good, you should already know uh, the fact that he's in his life going into this film. Uh, maybe the reasons why, that's when you find out when you watch the film in itself. Um, but for me, seeing that connection between him and trying to raise a a kid on his own when all he cares about is himself was really cool to see and personally guys I am tired of the Batman storyline I really am and I think that's another reason why I didn't maybe like the movie so much because it focused so much on Gotham City and um just uh, you know him finding the Joker and I get it that's where all the jokes come in that's where the slapstick humor comes in he has to you know make fun of the like he always fights 
uh, the Joker, and he always comes back, and Joker's such a big part in his life, and I get that, that's where a lot of the jokes do come in, and I, I guess I wanted to see a film take place in Gotham, but not be really about Gotham, if that makes sense, I didn't want it to be about the Batman fighting Joker, um, I wanted to see more of the, the family side, and to see him not only care about himself, but to try and care about others, and to see that he can't do everything alone, and that, you know, he needs other people there to help fight crime and to be a part of a family, since his parents were both shot right in front of him as a kid. So that obviously still has a huge impact on him in this movie, and you see that with all the family photos in the film, especially with some of the funny scenes during the trailer that they show of him talking with, um, you know, his butler and, um, forgot the name of the butler, I'm gonna get a lot of hate on that, but he talks with this butler about, um, you know, the, all his family issues, and he says he doesn't have any, but then he ends up having to take care of this kid, and, he, uh, you know, the butler is there for him, and Will Arnett just kind of sees him as not a father figure, and so it kind of ties in with both relationships, and I feel like that was really cool to see both aspects of, um, you know, the relationships that Will Arnett has with the characters in this film. And then also, you guys, uh, this movie, I, I heard a lot of critics. I, I watched uh, Chris Stuckman's review, Jeremy Johnson's review with a great opening. I loved how he animated himself. I wish I could do that, but I don't have the money or knowledge to do that. So, you know, maybe one day I, w I will do something like that. I don't know. Um, but probably not in like the next five years of me doing YouTube. I can at least tell you that. But for me, the, the they all said that this joke or not this joke, the, the movie basically suffers from too many jokes. And for me, personally, it wasn't as funny as the Lego movie. And that's why I guess I was maybe a little bit more disappointed, even though, yes, I wanted to see more of the family and the dark side of the story, but I was going in thinking this was going to be really funny, and I, I gotta say, it just had a really cool opening credit and some end credits, credits, and that was about it for me. Um, the first hour of the film is really funny, and then that's when it gets into the more serious part and the dynamic of the whole family situation, uh, but I don't want to keep talking about that, because I don't want to give away more than what I already may have. Um, excuse me, guys, sorry. But, um, for me, it wasn't that the, the movie suffered from its many, many jokes, it was that there wasn't enough and I feel like I might get a lot of hate on that, but again, guys, this is just my opinion. Uh, I love the film. I will see it uh, uh, so many times more. I'll own it eventually, uh, because I love this universe of Legos. Um, there were a lot of ab jokes. Uh, the, the computer was hilarious to hear uh, whenever Will Arnett needed something in the Batcave. I thought that was really cool. I thought how he tried to keep his identity from being Bruce Wayne and, and Batman, that was also really cool to see. Um, especially when they're, when they're trash talking Batman and Bruce Wayne has to pretend that he's not Batman, but he asks all these questions why. I thought that was really funny to see. Um, and besides that though, um, there wasn't much else that I had a problem with. I loved the music in it. The, the, the animation is incredible as always. And there are some aspects of the, of the film and in, in this film that you see that were in the first film as well. And I thought that was really cool. Um, and you guys will know what I'm talking about when you go to see this film. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's about it. Um, I, I think I've talked about all I've wanted to talk about. So you guys, for me personally, I'm going to rate the film now. Um, I think the only flaw that I had with it was that I went in thinking it was going to be funnier than it actually was, and then it wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. So for me, that was it. I did see this with Ryan along with John Wick Chapter 2, which you guys saw uh, in my last video, but... For Ryan, he was laughing throughout the whole thing, and he gave it the same rating. I think he just enjoyed it a little bit more than I did, even though we gave it the same rating. Um, and so for that, I am going to give it a great, um, which is our third highest rating on it. Uh, then it goes awesome and excellency. I'm giving it a great because I love the Lego movie so much. I will be seeing the Lego Ninjaga movie, even though that looks like a Transformers animated uh, show turned into an hour and a half long. But that's just my opinion. I will be seeing that one because I love this universe. I think it's really cool and uh, different. And I, I don't know. I, I love these movies, but I just didn't love it as much as I thought I would for the Lego Batman movie. I was really hyped going into it. I walked out like, okay, this was, this was good. I'm glad I saw it. I'll see it again.
So that that that's just me though. I uh, it, the theater was fun. It was kind of annoying because all the kids were laughing and talking and dancing throughout the whole entire movie. Um, but you know what? It's okay. It was funny. I'm glad I saw it. And uh, op going opening night is always fun. And so, uh, oh, and I did see it in XD. We saw it in XD, and that was awesome to see. Um, but yeah, so th uh, this is my review over the Lego Batman movie. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out the John Wick Chapter 2 video. Uh, much appreciate uh, all, all the views and all the comments you guys leave down below. Let me know if you liked the Lego movie or the Lego Batman movie better. I was trying to come up with something to say at the end so you guys can let me know about what you thought of this film. Uh, but yeah, again, just let me know which film you thought was better and if you're looking forward to the Lego Ninjaga movie or if you just don't really care for it and you're giving up on the Lego universe already. Let me know down below uh, in the comments. I can't speak. Sorry, guys. I've been sick for the past week. Like I said, I'm just getting over that now. Uh, I think I'm finally feeling better. So, um...